Welcome back to Talk of the Town. Rachel Tripp, Miss Hilton Head Island 2014, joins today's show to explain her efforts on behalf of Miss Hilton Head Island and the Miss America organization to provide a fundraising campaign for the Children's Miracle Network Hospitals and how we can participate. Rachel, welcome to the show. Hi, thank you. And congratulations. <laughs> thank you so much. So <laughs> exciting for you. So tell us a little bit about the campaign and about Miss America's partnership with the Children's Miracle Network Hospitals. Well, the name of the campaign is Making Miracles Happen One Bite at a Time, and all the proceeds will be going to the Children's Miracle Network Hospital in Charleston. And there are four Children's Miracle Network Hospitals in South Carolina. They are located in Charleston, Florence, Columbia, and Greenville. So we're helping to fund all those hospitals across the state. Yeah, that's a, 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 such a wonderful organization. Um, so tell us a little bit about the event. How will it work? Well, the event will take place next week, and it'll be taking place at all these various restaurants. Monday and, through Friday, yes, right? Yes, Monday through Friday. We don't have a restaurant for Wednesday yet. But so, so, so we're plugging that. Yes, we are. We are plugging that. We would love the extra support to help out these kids, but a percentage of the sales from every night at the restaurants will go to the Children's Miracle Network in, Hospital in Charleston. So um, individuals can just, um, so, so let's talk about the restaurants that are that are on the week's tour. Although Wednesday it's still up in the air and we know somebody that's listening yes, somebody. is going to jo join the efforts. Well, Monday night we will have Neos, which is local and organic food from across the area. And that's on the island? Yes, that's on the island. Okay. And then Tuesday we will have Fat Baby's Pizza, which is Italian food in a great Great family setting to bring out the kids, so we would love to see all those children out there. And where is that? That is in Bluffton. That's in Bluffton. So yes, so bring out your families. And then Wednesday, we don't have that restaurant yet, but we're hoping for it. That's Fingers right. Crossed. And then Thursday, we will have Sigler's Rotisserie and Seafood. And that's in Bluffton. That's in Bluffton as well. And then Friday, we will have Latitude Wine Bar and Tapas Bar. And where is that? That's in Bluffton as well. Bluffton so, as well. Okay. Yes, that's a, very, so, a new place, so you have to come out and check it out. Okay, wonderful. So. These, these restaurants, people can just, um, uh, probably some of them will need uh, reservations, but w some of the proceeds will be going back to the, the um, efforts that you're, you're involved with. Yes, ma'am, they will. So. so what was it like to win Miss Hilton Head Island 2014? It was very exciting. This is my very first pageant that I've ever done. So I was a newbie. I didn't know really what to expect, so I was going with it kind of blindfolded. But I had a great time, and I honestly didn't think I was going to win when they announced my name and put that crown on my head. I was literally in shock. My mouth dropped. And at the end of the entire pageant, my mom came up to me, and she was like, you know what, Rachel, you're beautiful, but I really didn't pick you to win. I didn't expect <laughs> you to be the winner. So I was like, well, thank you, Mom. I love the extended support. That's but right. it's great, and it's been a great journey so far, so a lot of fun. So more excitement in your life is that you're preparing You're preparing for the Miss South Carolina pageant. Yes. That's that's really wonderful. So tell us a little bit about that. Like, what 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 does that entail? Well, the pageant will be the last week in June, and it will be a whole week of competing. And then the pageant will actually air June 28th on all the Fox affiliate stations across the state. So we just found out about that, and we're very excited. But until June, and since I won in January, I've been preparing and training. So it really is a, a oh, it's a lot of work. It is a huge amount of work, and I, since it's my first pageant, I didn't know what to expect, and I really have been working very hard, so I hope June turns out very well. It's a lot of work, but I'm learning a lot and experiencing a lot of new things, so it's been a great journey. That's <laughs> wonderful. And the efforts for the, uh, again, the... Um, for the Children's Hospital, uh, Mi Children Miracle Network hospitals, that begins next week, Monday through Friday. Um, they just need to come to the restaurants. Proceeds will obviously go back to to um, for the efforts, and uh, that's really exciting. Yes, come out to the restaurants. I will be there to take any pictures, say hello, sign autographs. I just to be there to help the children and to meet everyone across the island because I do represent this beautiful place. So I would love to meet everyone and see everyone help the Children's Miracle Network hospitals. Wonderful. And we wish you so much luck with the South, Miss South Carolina pageant. And uh, people need to watch and follow you. Yes, tune in. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you, Rachel. And we'll be right back with Talk of the Town.